painting the monster manual. Sorry, I've been absent for a little bit, guys. I've been focusing on painting stuff that's not D&D related. Uh, well, sort of D&D adjacent, but today we're going to talk about kobolds. Now, I have quite a bit more than these. I'm going to have some recommendations for you. Um, there are two really good options for kobolds on the market right now. There is over here on the left, the Epic Encounters line by Steamforged Games with Shrine of the Kobold Queen. On the right are Reaper Bones USA kobolds. Now, both of them, you're going to get a lot of different sculpts. The Epic Encounters line is, I believe, 20 miniatures. It runs up running about 50 bucks MSRP. They are, they are PVC, but you do get a couple of kobold adjacent miniatures as well. Like you get the kobold queen herself, which is an Urdu or a winged kobold, for those of you not in the know. Uh, you also do get a basilisk, which is a really nice addition in there. The Reaper Bones USA, they come in a couple different packs, each one being about six bucks and contains six cobalt. So a dollar a cobalt is about the best deal you can get on good looking miniatures. And they're the new Reaper Bones USA material. That's the CO cast stuff that's kind of taking the industry. And that stuff is absolute aces. So those are my recommendations. I do not recommend the WizKids Frameworks cobalts. They are very expensive for what you get and you don't get a lot of them. That's all for today. I'll go ahead and make another one tomorrow. Paint more minis. Peace.